Dance is one of Toronto's most popular dance festivals, has been dazzling audiences in neighborhood parks for over two decades. Once a year for a week in the summer, just as the magical hour of dusk is about to descend, choreographers and dancers transform this public park into an enchanted space. Dust Dances is short dance pieces that are done in different locations of a public park. Uh, the pieces are varied. Um, we have a host that brings the audience from piece to piece, so there's a real journey. And who is your host? I am and you love me, you love me! <laughs> The audiences that it draws are huge. So honestly, I've been I probably danced for more people here at Dust Dances than in some theaters in the city. What makes Dust Dances unique is the fact that it isn't a park. I mean, it's really amazing. Usually we're so used to performing on stage, right? But you get to be one with the nature and, and that's what I really enjoy about this. Dusk is also a very enchanting and magical time, yes. The light is very beautiful and everybody finishes their day and there's something that calms down, I think, for all of us in that, in that time of day. So I thought that if we go through dust, the light becomes softer and quite beautiful, actually. So we have a bit of a natural lighting design, if you wish. Usually we do four or five. Uh, so because of the 20th anniversary that we're celebrating, we have six pieces, so we, we actually go into the night. It's unique because it's uh, shown different kind of dance. Uh, dance is so, can be so different. So you have very contemporary, very more like uh, African, uh, funny piece, more dramatic, more poetic. So you can have a taste of dances or see a really wide panorama of what dance can be. The idea for Das Dances came in 1993 when I was a younger artist, a dance artist, and I was beginning to choreograph. And I thought, why not do something in a public park where people come, uh, people may not know about dance. So I had the, uh, the desire to bring dance, which is an art form that I love, and new audiences together and to meet. I'm the choreographer of one of the six pieces tonight and the piece that I created is called La Vie. It's performed by Marie Silgate. La Vie is a step into the past in order to move forward in the future. We began in 1983 at Trinity Bellwoods Park. We did Dufferin Grove for quite some years. Withrow Park is a great performance stage because uh, there are many sites, many different sites that, I mean, we've been here 15 years and we still discover different ways of using the park. I choreographed around the process specifically for Dust Dance because I knew it was in a park. I was really inspired by the activity of people just doing it apart. It's, a, how to say, a metaphor about running, running as a challenge, as a goal, and as an activity that a lot of people do more and more. So it's a um, subject that we're looking at uh, in different form in a 10 minutes link choreography. It's really nice to be outside, uh, sometimes in theater. You sit, you know that something's gonna happen, so uh, it's more stage. Here it's more blend with life. So I think as an artist we have more tools to communicate what we want directly with the people. The piece I'm dancing is called Inner City Sirens Part 2 and we dance um, in two small kiddie pools filled with water. 
And the premise is that we are the first and maybe the only synchronized swimming team to specialize in small pools. Kids do love this piece, they go crazy for it. We splash them a lot on purpose, and so like the first two rows of the audience get completely soaked. And for some reason, kids love to get wet in the park. And they all scream and go, Personally, as an artist, it's one of the most rewarding performance experiences I've had. Um, mostly because we're not in a theater, and in the theater you're often removed slightly, and the reactions you get are very um, subdued. And because we're outside, it's a lot more informal, and so it's very immediate, and I'm standing right here on the grass in front of them so they can come up and talk to me. It's not like I'm in a green room somewhere and they go home with their experience and I go home with my experience. And that's rare as a performer. It feels lovely to be like, oh, great. I'm working hard and I had an impact. Performing in the park um, allows me to, to, to not feel like I'm performing just to an audience. It, it allows me to feel like they are participating in the piece itself, which definitely differs from performing on stage where we have that fourth wall. Dundun dance is based, you know, in Africa, in African dance. So it usually is outside. As I'm dancing, you know, while, while it is dusk, um, it, it is a magical moment because uh, you can see as, you know, as the sun is starting to set and the moon is starting to raise and, and you just get that feeling, um, you know, when, when it's night that, you know, you want to perform and th there's something magical happening and, and you performing and what you're offering to an audience at that, at that time. You can see the moon from our site and it's almost full right now, so that adds another lovely element. It's a beautiful place to mount a dance. The piece that I co-choreographed with Meredith Thompson is called Incandescent. And the original inspiration for the work was uh, the lyrics of Leonard Cohen's song called Anthem. It's that one, uh, there's a crack in everything, that's how the light gets in. So we, were, we took the words of that song and built a 10 minute dance piece. Dust Dances is a very unique venue. I'd say first and foremost for its accessibility. So the fact that families can just wander in, leave when they need to. People who normally, maybe it's a little too complicated to get a, young, a big young family out to an actual theater, we kind of bring dance to their neighborhood. So they can come, it's really easy. It's pay what you can. Affordability is huge too. It happens since 20 years. So the community I've built around and everyone knows about it now, so it's like a tradition to come. So that's, that's shine for dance and for people to enjoy dance and, and to have that accessible for dance.